I've got a drum of aeromarine latex. Let me show you what we can do with this. I'm going to show you how to apply cheesecloth to a latex mold to reinforce the mold and to reduce tearing. First thing that you're going to do is you're going to put the amount of latex you want to use into a separate container. The reason that I put the latex I'm going to use into a separate container is so that I can close the lid on the unused latex. So now I'm going to take a piece of cheesecloth. This is cheesecloth. This is cheesecloth. You can get it at any supermarket next to the baking tools. What I usually do is apply a thin layer of latex to the area that I want the cheesecloth to go on. And then I will flatten the cheesecloth out over the top of that area. And then I will use my brush with a little latex to help it help the cheesecloth stick to the surface. So your goal in using the cheesecloth is to cover all parts of the mold so that you reinforce it and reduce the risk of the mold tearing prematurely. You can see this mold has some indentations and crevices. So I'm going to use a wood stick to help me kind of get it into the little spots and form to the mold a little better. You will only want to apply the cheesecloth after you've done five layers of latex to make sure that you get the detail of the part that you're making the mold out of. Now that I've applied the cheesecloth to the entire surface of the mold, I'm going to go ahead and set it aside for four hours. And when it's no longer tacky, I'm going to apply another coat of latex. So yesterday we showed you how to apply cheesecloth to latex to help give the mold a stiffer surface. So you're going to go ahead and lift all the edges and pull up to get it out of the mold. Now you can see how great the detail is and that it's just a little stiffer than most latex molds. And you can make this mold with cheesecloth and aeromarine latex. And you can get the aeromarine latex at aeromarineproducts.com.